what is up carnage clan it's cozy here with another video for you guys today over some more insane black ops 3 beta gameplay today's gameplay is a double shotgun nuclear using the krm shotgun on the map evac playing some capture the flag and this gameplay is by none other than the beautiful beautiful carnage isotonic definitely show isotonic some love by checking out his channel linked in the description for more insane gameplays like this i know for a fact that he is on his grind during this beta and deserves all the attention he can get and maybe if you enjoy the commentary check out mine as well linked in the description of course also so a quick note about the gun he's using in this gameplay, I am absolutely in love with the KRM. I know a lot of people really don't use shotguns in Call of Duty, but me honestly, I've used them a lot throughout my career and I honestly just love this one. Such a clean, thorough gun, kind of like the Remington from Black Ops 2. I just think this gun looks awesome and if any of you shotgunners are out there, definitely don't overlook the KRM. It's honestly a beast. Alright, so today I kind of have a story for you guys that happened to me last week. It was honestly crazy. The name of this story is Visiting the Base House and Getting Rejected. It was, it was honestly insane it was one of like the weirdest things that ever happened to me in my life because i totally did not expect this to happen so me i'm not going to disclose where i live but let's just say i live near the phase house like 20 30 minutes away i kind of live near the phase house and if you guys don't know where the phase house is it's basically in new york it's a house where all the phase members a lot of the active phase members come together and they live they make videos it's kind of like a really cool gaming house and honestly I, i'm in love with the idea of that that sounds awesome honestly wish i could live there maybe i could rent the attic but yeah it was my friend tim's birthday last week and we decided that we were gonna go to the phase house you know visit phase rain maybe phase apex i actually didn't know who was there i think rain was there and blaziken was there and maybe a few other members and we just wanted to visit them we wanted to visit the people that we idolized on youtube for the longest time we really just wanted to see what they were like in like i guess in person my friend tim wanted them to sign his shaker cup his g fuel shaker cup and honestly i just wanted to meet the people who make insane videos for us so we drive there you know it was only like a 20 minute drive it really wasn't that far and we show up and we are so hyped we drive past their house we just see the g fuel phase like mobile inside the driveway we are so hyped we are like screaming in the car we sound like a whole bunch of like giddy little children we were like oh my god oh my god it's the phase house we're just so excited we are so stoked to finally meet all the phase members you know it was the house that we saw in all their videos it was kind of like seeing a celebrity it was crazy and we just dive out of our car while it's moving to try to run to the phase house we run up the stairs we knock on their front door and we're just waiting there and waiting there and at first we were like yeah yeah this is gonna be awesome we were so hyped as i was walking up those stairs to go to the door i was so hyped i was like oh my god i'm gonna meet phase rain oh my god i'm gonna meet all these phase members honestly we were all just really really excited we were like little children so we go up to the front door and my friend tim starts to knock and then he's ringing the doorbell a whole bunch of times he's just kind of sitting there knocking and ringing the doorbell over and over again trying to get them to answer and about five minutes goes by and we're like oh my god they're not gonna answer we just had to come to this realization that oh my god they didn't answer they're not gonna answer the door so after after about 10 to 15 minutes we all kind of agree that we're just gonna wait it out see if one of them comes home maybe one of them took their car out maybe nobody's home maybe everybody's sleeping so we just decided to go across the street and sort of stake out the phase house just waiting for anything waiting for a blind to move waiting for a light to turn on we're waiting for something to happen so we could just dash across the street go past traffic and just knock on their door and try to get an autograph or something so we're sitting there across the street from the phase house just staking it out with uh, my friend Tim's mom inside of their car we're just sitting there we're like oh my god are we we're just waiting we're just staring at the face house staking it out i swear to god somebody should have pulled out their binoculars we were just staring them down waiting for anything to change on the house we were honestly that was it was a little bit insane i mean i was ready to go home but my friend tim is an insanely persistent guy and you know he was just determined to get to meet at least one phase member so we decided to go back to knock on the door for a second time you know second try could work out we go up to the front door we knock again and the same thing happens we just were like knock 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 and the same thing happens and all of a sudden, um, this kid and his mom walk up to the door and they're like, um, are they home? Are they home? Because, I don't know, I guess the kid was like a FaZe Rain fan. He had like the whole FaZe Rain Keep It Real shirt. The kid, honestly, he was getting like a cool kid. And the kid and his mom were explaining that they're actually from Florida. They came all the way from Orlando, all the way to New York to meet the FaZe members. And it was just, it's crazy because like, obviously they weren't answering. They came all this way. They like canceled the day of their vacation in New York City just to go visit the FaZe members, just to visit the FaZe house. And I kind of felt bad for the kid. You know, he couldn't meet his idols. I guess. I don't know. Nobody was answering the door and we were all just really, really demotivated. So we went back to the car again, just sitting in the air conditioner. Meanwhile, this kid's outside in like sweatpants and a hat and he just, he looked honestly like really, like he looked like he was like dead. Him and his mom were just sitting there knocking on the door, waiting on their front lawn. And it, it was just, it was really sad to see that happen. But we didn't give up. We were still staking out the phase house across the street, just staring them down, waiting for something to happen. And then we decided, you know, third time's the charm. We all run out of the car. We're all just really pumped up we're like 
like, we're gonna get FaZe to answer. We're gonna get FaZe to answer. We go for a third time. At, at this point, like an hour and a half has gone by. We storm across the street. We show up on their front lawn. We go up their stairs, about to knock on the door. And my friend Tim screams, Lucas, FaZe plays again. He's just screaming his head off, just trying to get them to answer. We show up to the door. We knock for a little bit. We wait like five minutes. All of a sudden, the doorknob turns. We're like, oh my God, somebody's gonna answer. A FaZe member is gonna answer. The door opens and behold, FaZe Seabass actually answered the door. And honestly, I would be a little more starstruck if it was like FaZe Rain or somebody like that. But you know, it was Seabass, you know, whatever. I guess some people would think that's awesome. And he opens the door. He looks like he just woke up. He's like, um, it's my understanding that you guys have been here for a while. I don't know what anybody told you, but this is a private area. This is not a public area. This is where we live and we're making videos for the Black Ops 3 beta. And we're standing there and we're like, oh my God, we're terrible people. We like, honestly, I felt kind of bad about the whole situation because that's where they live. I totally understand. If people came to my house every day, it would get old after a while. And I really felt bad for them. It just really made me feel like a bad person. We all kind of felt bad. He decided to say like, listen guys, you can't be here. I'm sorry that you came from Florida. I'm sorry that you came from like a few towns over, but you guys are going to have to leave. And then he kind of just closed the door and told us to leave. And it was so disappointing. We were like so disappointed. We just hung our heads in shame and we just walked back to the car and went home. It was so demotivating. I felt so bad. I, we honestly felt like terrible people. We felt like we were disturbing the peace. We were disturbing their peace and it just, it felt terrible. But that was the story of Seabass basically telling us that we couldn't go to the FaZe house. We got denied. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, everyone here at Carnage would appreciate it greatly if you could drop a like rating as well as hitting that subscribe button. It supports us more than you even know. And it just really lets us know that you guys enjoy the content that we make. And especially also lets our fearless leader Apollo know that all the effort he's been putting in, all the effort between college and the YouTube channel, it just lets him know that it's paying off. And honestly, let's try to make his day just a little bit easier. And of course, definitely go take a look at all of Carnage's social media like Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to keep yourself updated with everything Carnage. And if you made it this far, definitely hit us up in the comment section with the word waffle. It'll just be our little secret. Let's see how many people we can confuse. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Stay cozy.